Happy single de Mayo, folks. Xavier back again with another video. And it's time to do a recap of Wednesday, Thursday, and last night's games for the Astros against the Minnesota Twins and the LA Angels. And a recap of last night's game three of the Western Conference semifinals between the defending champs, the Golden State Warriors, and yours truly, the Houston Rockets. First, we're going to talk about the Astros first. The Astros lost three games to one against the Minnesota Twins last week. On Monday, they lost one to zero. Tuesday, they won 11 to zero. Wednesday, they lost six to two. Thursday, they lost eight to two. <coughs> Excuse me. And now last night, they beat the LA Angels in Mexico, 14 to two. The Astros were smoking hot last night. They were killing it. They're playing against the Angels again today on Cinco de Mayo before they head back home tomorrow through Wednesday to take on the Kansas City Royals. Then from Thursday to Mother's Day, they got four more games at home against the Texas Rangers. Next Monday through next Wednesday, they're going to be in Detroit taking on the Tigers. May 17th to May 19th, they're going to be in Boston taking on the Red Sox. Then they're back at home May 20th to May 23rd taking on the Chicago White Sox. From May 24th, to May 26th, they got three more games at home against the Red Sox. Memorial Day, Monday, May 27th to May 29th, they got three games at home against the Chicago Cubs. And May 31st to June 2nd, they got three games in Oakland against the Athletics. Astros are now 19 and 14. Now it's time to do a recap of last night's Game 3 of the Western Conference Semifinals between the Golden State Warriors and the Houston Rockets. Before I get my thoughts, we're going to get down to the highlights. First quarter, Warriors take the cake by one point, 26-25. Rockets made a comeback in the second quarter by 11 points scoring 33 while the Warriors scored 23. At halftime, Rockets 58, Warriors 49. Warriors took the cake in the third quarter by two points, 35 to 33. After three, Rockets 91, Warriors 84. Then the fourth quarter, it got a little ugly. Warriors scored 28 points while the Rockets scored 21. And at the end of regulation, both teams scored 112 points apiece. And the game went to overtime. At overtime, the Rockets made a comeback, scoring 14 points while the Warriors scored 9. Final score. Houston Rockets 126, Golden State Warriors 121 at overtime. The Warriors now lead the series two games to one. Tomorrow night, game four is still at the Toyota Center here in Houston. James Harden had 41 points, nine rebounds, and six assists. CP3 Chris Paul. 14 points, 8 rebounds, 7 assists. Clint Capella, 13 points, 11 rebounds, 1 assist. P.J. Tucker, 7 points, 12 rebounds, 3 assists. Eric Gordon, 30 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. And the bench gets 21 points. 
Austin Rivers, eight points, four rebounds, no assists. Iman Shumpert, 10 points, two rebounds, no assists. Nene, three points, four rebounds, one assist. And Gerald Green, zero points, zero assists, but three rebounds. Now for the Warriors. Former Texas Longhorn and OKC Thunder player Kevin Durant had 46 points, three rebounds, six assists. Steph Curry, 17 points, three rebounds, four assists. Klay Thompson, 16 points, eight rebounds, two assists. Draymond Green, 19 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists. Andre Iguodala, 16 points, five rebounds, three assists. And the bench only gets seven points. Kevon Looney, two points, one rebound, one, no assists. Sean Livingston, three points, two rebounds, two assists. <coughs> Excuse me. Alfonso McKinney, two points, one rebound, no assists. Jonas Jericho. No points, no rebounds, no assists. And Andrew Bogt, no points, one rebound, and no assists. I thought Eric Gordon was going to be the player of the game, but unfortunately, player of the game was, as usual, James Harden, with 41 points, nine rebounds, and six assists. Now, Let's get to my thoughts about this game. Rockets, after y'all struggled in the first two games, I'm glad y'all made a comeback last night. But, there's five games left. Tomorrow night, game four is still here in Houston at the Toyota Center. Then on Wednesday, they go back to Oakland for game five. Game six is back over here in Houston, and game seven is back in Oakland. But game six through seven if necessary. Man, Eric Gordon did a tremendous job shooting three-pointers. I think he had like, I don't know how many three-pointers did he shoot, but he definitely made some three-pointers either in the first or the second quarter. Because I was flipping through the channels. Whenever one game was on commercial break, I'd go to the other. If the Astros game was on commercial, then I'd go to the Rockets. If the Rockets goes on commercial, then I'd go to the Astros. Both Astros and the Rockets opened up a can of whoop-ass on the Angels and the Warriors last night. Let's see if the Astros can do it again. Right now, they're trailing one to nothing. And let's see the Rockets can do the same thing tomorrow night in Game 4 of the Western Conference Semifinals. Even though James Harden still had that eye injury, he was still ready to go. But that's going to wrap up my rant about Wednesday and Thursday's Astros games against the Minnesota Twins and last night's Astros game against the LA Angels and last night's Game 3 of the Western Conference Semifinals between the Warriors and the Rockets. Let me know what y'all think. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Hit subscribe. Click the notification bell. And I think I got a second rant coming later on tonight requested by my boy, Serge Dragon. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Go Houston Astros. And go Houston Rockets.